there's so much noise out there that you really need to differentiate yourself. Hello everybody, here's the captain from trafficpartner.com and I'm here today with Jason Hunt from Merch Media. Make some noise! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jason, how are you? Good? Doing good, man. Doing good. Good to see you again. I know under uh, these conditions, it's usually not this long uh, from seeing you from time to time again. We're usually seeing each other at a trade show of sorts. Yeah, yeah. So, so many cool travels we had together. Like, uh, remember so many parties and rap events, whatever we made together. How important is Instagram instead of Facebook to getting customers to your product or to your email list? Yeah, great one. So, I mean, it's the same platform, essentially, Facebook, Instagram, but uh, the demographic is a bit different. So on Facebook, you're getting uh, mostly, it's an older demographic, but also people that have that tendency to stop scrolling through content. People, a lot of those people on Facebook are actually stopping on the content, reading the copy, deciding whether or not it's a good idea to take that action, to click that call to action button to go to your site. Whereas on Instagram, obviously pretty much 100% mobile, so it's and it's and it's it's image based or video based so it's very much like people are going to make a, a decision on whether or not they want to go to your page based off that image and creative that you're using so there's such more there's a higher emphasis on the actual creative that you're using on instagram to get them over to your site but keep in mind this is what you have to keep in mind is people don't want to ruin or interrupt their social media experience there's so much noise out there that you really need to differentiate yourself. You need to capture their attention and have an offer or something enticing enough to get them to click and go over to your site, okay? Yeah. A lot of people miss the mark because that website that they send the traffic over to is not optimized for that social media experience, mm -hmm. right? And, and what happens is if you send, a lot of people just send traffic to a generic website. If you send traffic from Instagram or Facebook to a generic site and that user goes there and doesn't have that experience they're expecting and they bounce, well, that gives signals back to Facebook or Instagram that this was not a good experience for that user and your ad cost is going to go up. Okay. Well, that's a good insight of you. I think a lot of people should think about how to create their landing pages then. So then uh, for, for the young generation, <laughs> always call this, there's the Snapchat and TikTok and both, uh, both community I'm not really active on. After our last uh, conference, I started a TikTok, but you know, I have uh, other jobs to do than be a TikTok star. So tell us a little bit how a company can work on Snapchat and TikTok to make this as a channel for promoting their products. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, I'm going to talk specifically to TikTok because I have more experience on that platform. And you know, TikTok's starting to, to starting to release uh, it available for advertisers to leverage paid advertising on it. Um, but you know, I think it's a play where you can remain consistent with a certain type of audience. Not everybody's on TikTok, but there is a lot of attention on TikTok. So yes, the younger demographic is there, but let's not you know, let's be honest. The older demographic is there as well. I'm older. I'm on the platform. <laughs> But I'm also not seeing videos of 17-year-old girls lip singing. That's not the content that I'm served on the platform, which a lot of people think that's the content that's on the platform. But it's really not. There's some really good content on, on TikTok. But the, the way, the behavior of people on TikTok, it's very short videos. People, people get addicted to it because they don't want to miss that next video. So they keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you'll find, you'll find two, three hours are gone and you've consumed so much content. But what I found is people don't have that tendency to want to leave the platform. So I think TikTok is a really good play for brand awareness and getting people aware of your product. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be to get people clicking to another site, to a purchase site or anything like that. That's my opinion. I think it's a really good platform for raising that brand awareness. It's a fun platform. And for users, it's such an easy platform to create video content. But then again, Instagram came out with Reels, which is basically the same thing as TikTok. So it's yeah. interesting to see where that's going to go. Yeah, and it's um, the new generation. After 15 seconds, everything is done. So you need to have really a deep impress and a short video. Normally, you know, I come from an older generation. For me, a good video is about one minute or 90 seconds. And now it's uh, coming down to the next generation. It's 15 seconds. 
let's see how this ends. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy to think. It's crazy to think how how the world is changing. You know how how the generations are changing. Because I'm like you, Andy, man. I I, I like to take a moment. If I'm going to consume a piece of content, I'm going to consume a piece of content. Yeah. But the new generation is, is the way the 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 way the platforms are created, the way the algorithms work. It's really geared towards people with a very short attention span. People don't have the time to look at a one minute video anymore. You know, your son is not looking at a one minute video. My kids are not going to be consuming one. Minute. They just want something short and quick. It's funny. You know, I'm just thinking about it now. Have you ever seen the movie Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Yeah. Old movie from like the 90s. Yeah. I'll never, I, it's what used to be one of my favorite movies, but it's funny because they were trying to predict the future. And one of the things they predicted in that movie was that there's not going to be five minute songs anymore on the radio. It's uh, yeah, going to yeah. be like, 20 second, 30 second jingles, right? And that's, oh, here's this great jingle. I love this one. But that's what's happening now with the world is there's so, the attention span is just so short on this new generation coming up. So it's interesting to see how all the platforms sort of gear or change uh, or you know evolve to facilitate this younger generation. Well, this is a good tip for music producers. Now you need next song less than 30 seconds. <laughs> that's right, right? 100%, man, 100%. I, I imagine if some uh, famous uh, musicians start to make songs with 30 seconds, perhaps this will be the big new trend in the music industry. Somebody's going to disrupt the music industry. Maybe it should be you. <laughs> Maybe you should disrupt.